Aries. I don't know why your read just feels like it's going to be amazing. Explosive. There's something going on for Aries right now that just feels amazing. All right, so you have the Five of Wands. We'll go over that while I pull your Oracle card. Now, the Five of Wands kind of makes sense. A lot going on. It's chaos. It's priorities. It's getting things in check. It's also competition, Aries. So a big part of the Five of Wands is a competitive energy. It is that energy of <clears throat> possibly having multiple people you're dealing with, multiple people who are looking for your time and attention, multiple people who um, are resonating towards you with your energy. So it feels very magnetic, Aries. You guys are somebody that people are very um, attracted to this month. Not that you're not normally, but you know what I mean? Sometimes you have those months where you're kind of like, wow, you know, this seems to be um, I seem to be meeting more people or people coming back from the past and I'm not just talking about love. It doesn't have to be, you know, some girl or guy that, you know, you don't have the best, uh, best feelings towards. This could be an old friend who popped in or family you haven't talked to in forever. So I definitely feel like you're very, um, magnetic, especially with the five of ones. However, there is a sense of chaos, but I think that's because you're starting to get your ducks in a row and you're cutting out like drama. You're pushing away the negative and pulling in the positive, but to do that, it, it is kind of a little bit of um, a little bit of chaos. Now, uh, you have your clarif or your clarify your oracle card, Tuscalatopoca, which is you know a period of when you need um, meditation. It's interesting because this word represents chaos. This word also represents chaos, but I feel like or this word these cards represent chaos, but I feel like. The best part about that is the fact that you're like controlling the chaos. It's very, it, there's a very strong circle where you're almost like holding this ball and you can, you know, chuck it at any time. There's a lot going on in your mind, your heart, your head, but you're moving in the right direction. The next card you have is your current position. You have the Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is... <clears throat> energetic, very daring, moves very fast, moves quickly. Again, I think you are in like cleanup mode. You're kind of out with the old, in with the new. It doesn't mean that you're not um, thinking about somebody for the past. It doesn't mean that there can't be somebody on your mind or somebody that um, you still miss or you have a connection with, but this person is very confident. As the Knight of Wands, you're extremely confident. You're, you're like fiery passion, ready to go out and get it. And I think that's interesting because for a while, Aries, I think there was a lot of catching up with the past, a lot of um, past that was kind of controlling your future or had kind of a hold on you. And now with this Knight of Wands, it's very freeing. It feels very much like you are the fire sign that this represents. You are the confident person. You are controlling, you know, this, this chaos. You're getting out of it um, instead of getting suffocated by it. And like I said before, there's a lot of magnetism here. You might have somebody who is interested in you, a few people who are interested in you, I don't feel like this is um, a reciprocal past energy. So if you do have somebody who's been coming back or somebody that you've been thinking about or somebody who's been texting you, there's something else here. Um, could even just be like a friend, but I don't know that they've ex like, they, they have not um, advanced towards you in any way, shape or form it, as in having an attraction to you. But for some of you, there's somebody out there who's kind of waiting for you to figure out what you're doing or waiting for you to be like, oh, I'm on the market. And this person may come in and feel like swooping you up. The next card you have is how you're feeling. Um, and you have the world and the world is the end of cycle, okay? It is the end of the major arcana, so ready for a new beginning. This is also accomplishment and success, it's belonging. What you're looking for is where do I belong in this world? Where's my place um, in, and not just, love, but money, finances, um, you know, even where you live. Some of you are really assessing what what you're doing in life, where you want to go, what what are your priorities, um, what can I let go of, and what can I continue that's going to build my life up, my kids, my pets, my family, whatever it is for you. The world card, though, is counting your blessings as well. Every time I see this, especially when you've had to let past energies go, or when you've had to kind of uh, be on an uphill battle, the world continues to say, think about the abundance. It's hard sometimes. We get blindsided with the negative or we get blindsided with the what is shoulda, coulda's or why can't they, or what, you know, and, and the world card is saying, no, 
I'm going to go ahead and count my blessings and feel abundant for everything I have and let everything else that doesn't serve me well go. And that's the world here ending that cycle. The next card you have is your distant past and you have the tower. Well, this makes sense. For the past few months, I don't feel like recently, maybe um, more towards last year, and some of you are the tail end, is you had some pretty big tower moments, okay? This is your distant past, so this is five, ten years, and there's a very strong sense of tower moment after tower moment after tower moment, but I feel like it's very much with the same person, and you finally, there was like a wake-up period or a light bulb moment where you went, what am I doing? What the hell have I been allowing to have happen here? Um, because yes, you could say, well, they cheated on me or they treated me horribly or they were abusive. None of that is okay. You would never say that that's okay. Um, there comes a point though, where we take responsibility in who we allow to continue to, to, yeah, to continue to take up space without paying rent. Does that make sense? So the tower moment is destruction. It's dissolution. This could be a dissolution of a marriage. This could be a dissolution of a relationship of living together, whatever it is for you. Um, it came full circle and you're feeling more than ever capable of, um, of leaving that behind and then starting something fresh and something new. There's a sense of belonging here, Aries, which is kind of like you're finding your place in your, in your world, as well as finding your place in, um, meeting in, in where I'm going to go forward when I meet new people in, what type of person am I really looking for? What what type of relationship do I really, really want? Because a lot of people tend to say, oh, I want to get married and have kids. And then when it comes down to, to it, maybe they don't. Or a lot of people say, I don't want an exclusive relationship. I just want to go hang out and date a couple people. And then it turns out they really, really do want that partnership. So I think you're really assessing what it is you're doing, what you want going forward. The next card you have is your immediate past. So over the past few months, you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely you're growing wiser. The Queen of Pentacles has learned from mistakes. Um, she or he, I don't apply sex to the cards. The Queen of Pentacles is very wise and it has learned their lesson. They know where to put their energy versus where not to put their energy. So if a situation doesn't feel good, you're no longer going to feed your Aries energy into it because you want something different. If a situation feels good, you're going to add wood to the fire, right? You're going to stroke the fire because um, it's rising, raising your vibration along with you being able to rise other people's vibration. When I said earlier today about you being magnetized, like having competition around you, <coughs> excuse me, the thing we all forget too is how we can have an impact on somebody else's life. And right now, Aries, I feel like you could have an impact. I feel like some of you have even been like, you know what? I've been like, woe is me long enough. I'm going to go volunteer. Or, you know, that, gr that girl in the grocery store over there, she looks like she has her hands full with those kids. So I'm going to have a nice conversation with them while she checks out. There's just, oof, I don't know why. I just got chills big time. There's just this moment, whew, that was like big time. I can't explain it. Um, There's just this moment of you saying, you know, okay, I've climbed out of the muck. I'm not, I'm not looking back at the negative. I'm not going to let this engulf me, right? The two of pentacles is also a maternal, paternal energy. So a lot of you could have kids, grandkids, um, or just, you know, interested in, in, um, in taking care of other people or, um, nurturing other people. The thing about the queen though, is she's attentive to people who are attentive to her. So going forward, Aries, like I said, you're not feeding any energy into something into someone or something or situation that is not making you feel those blessings, not making you want to feel like you belong in that situation. The next card you have is your distant future. So over the next few months, um, and you have the queen of swords. Now the queen of swords is very honest. Somebody who, um, you know, is very wise, like the queen of pentacles here, but the queen of swords is somebody who has something to say and Aries, I don't feel like this is necessarily somebody in particular that you have something to say to. I feel, although you could, trust me, he or she, I have a mouthful of shit to say to this person. Like, I get that. But the Queen of Swords to me is, this is somebody who's very smart, again, very wise, who has learned their lessons, um, very deep in understanding, you know, your needs and other people's needs. But the biggest thing too here is... She leads with clarity, but she can slice with a sword. And what I mean by that is you're not going to um, 
you're not going to placate anymore. You're if just because somebody wants you in their life doesn't mean that you're going to stay or doesn't mean that you're going to allow it or doesn't mean you're going to go back. My point with this is for a long time, it was easier just to say yes or, or to kind of be like, well, you know, I feel bad or if I were to leave or if I were to not be friends with this person, this could be love. This could be a friend. This could be a family member, somebody that you just you're just not afraid to yield the, the sword anymore. The queen can be very critical, also critical of, of herself or himself. So be careful of that. You don't want to yield the whore. Oh my gosh. Yield the sword, um, you know, of critical towards yourself. You don't need that right now, Aries. Right now, what you need is to continue to build yourself up. But the queen of swords is just somebody who's not afraid to say no. I mean, that is the, the end all be all of it. You're not afraid to say no. Nope, that doesn't work for me. Nope, I'm not interested. Nope, we can't do this. Nope, we don't have money for that. Nope. Does that make sense? You're just, it's like I'm not taking any bullshit. And I I know, but also within yourself because we all talk ourselves into things or make excuses for things that we know just aren't good for us. And I think Aries is just at a point where you're not doing that. The next card you have is the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is new love coming in. New beginnings, excitement, it's uh, butterflies in your stomach. It's it's amazing because not only can it be new friendships, but it can be new love as well. This is um, your immediate future. So, and I feel very, very strongly that because you're leaving behind um, some sort of negativity, because you've cut off an old energy and because you're actually releasing it, I think you've held on to it, but because you have this completion here, with the end of the major arcana, which is the end of the cycle, you're going to have the new beginning, new cycle. It's hard to have new love or to even meet new people when you have something else taking up space in your head, when you have something else that's draining your energy or something else that really you don't need to feed much attention into anymore, because this is a beginning that's extremely exciting, extremely energetic. Kind of like why you're coming out as the Knight of Wands. You're you're content to move forward and you're you're loving the fact that there's going to be positive changes coming in. And the Ace of Cups res represents those changes and that excitement on all aspects, in all levels of your life and what's to come. The next card you have, huh, is the Eight of Cups. This is something tangible throughout happen. The Eight of Cups is slow, it's stagnant, it's not moving, um, it's dissatisfaction. Now I don't think you guys are gonna be dissatisfied what this is. This tells me very clearly you're holding out for that cup. You don't want the past cup and you're not going to just take any cup that comes your way. You're holding out for the one cup. And so although it may feel like it's not coming fast and people are going to be like, I'll never find love or it's not coming for me or, you know, readers talk about new love coming. Time is fluid. So this could be tomorrow or this could be five months from now. But whatever this is, I think you're going to be patient because you're excited about it. But again, it comes with that queen of swords of the not settling. I'm not, I, I'm learning to say no. The next card you have is how you're feeling throughout the month. And you have the nine of swords. Now the nine of swords, again, this is internal. So this isn't, you know, something that's coming towards you. The nine of swords is a paranoia, but it's a like anxiety, depression type feeling. Okay. Now, not in a bad way. I don't think this is like you guys are going to be, you know, not wanting to get out of bed and not face the world. This is more like, holy shit, I haven't dated in a long time. This, you know, this whole thing is new to me. Or, um, you know, what if I don't find the person I'm looking for? Or what if, you know, times have changed and what I'm thinking is a healthy relationship? Does it, this is too many, whoa, like, um, I almost said woe is me. It's not even woe is me. It's more, this is you um, just worrying about something that hasn't happened. The paranoia aspect of this card is you're thinking something is going to happen or isn't going to happen, but you're building that up in your head and it's not reality. So just be careful with this energy because you can diffuse this energy very quickly by just being excited and knowing that it's coming. Again, this is internal, so you don't need to worry about it. It's not like bad times are coming. This is you being anxious or feeling sad about something that again isn't happening. So release that energy. And these two cards are um, tangible and, you know, mental throughout the month, but it could last a day. It could last a week. They, you may wake up one day and just be like, you know, it would be nice to meet somebody. I would love to go grab a movie. I'd love to hold hands with somebody. I'd love a makeout session, whatever. And am I ever going to find it? It's that type of energy. So just 
when you feel yourself going there, come here to this excitement of, I can't wait to meet this person. Who is this person that's coming in? They're going to be amazing. The next card you have is your hopes or fears for the outcome. And your fear is the heartbreak card, okay? Aries, you guys are lifting and moving forward and climbing up so, so positively, vibrationally moving forward. And, you know, I think last month or one of your reads, because I did two reads in February, one of them was something about like dancing with the devil and you're not doing that anymore. You guys are coming so far. Don't let that fear, don't let that energy, don't let that toxicity ruin what's coming for you. And people come on my channel and they'll say, you know, tarot readers always say that new people are coming in, new love is coming in, but da 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 da. And I, but that's, that's right there. Stop it. Have the mental diet to where you can say, I know new love is coming in. Yeah, have I been through hell and back? Am I worried about heartbreak coming in again? Yes. The three of swords is your worry of fear of heartbreak. Well, what if I go through all this trouble just to get hurt again? Well, you have two choices. You can either stick your head in the sand like an ostrich and, and not worry about it, which no, no qualms. I know people, one of my best friends has been single for like 11 years. She has no interest whatsoever in doing any of it and dating. She's perfectly happy just the way she is. And if that's what makes you happy, then that's what makes you happy. We don't all have to be out there searching for our, our, you know, prince or princess. But if you're worried about the heartbreak before the story's even started, before the excitement's even come in, then you're going to manifest something that's not positive. The next card you have is your outcome for the month. And you have the Ace of Swords. So you have two aces here, speaking very clearly about newness. The Ace of Swords is logic, it's clarity, it's power. It's understanding exactly what I was just talking about. Manifesting something positive in your life instead of assuming that it's not gonna happen. And Aries, you guys have come so far that I just don't think getting into that thought pattern would be healthy. Now, it's scary and it's easier said than done. I have been there, done that more times than you could like than you want to know. You don't want to hear my stories. So the Ace of Swords is just saying, look, I can either get out there and date if I want, if I'm feeling it, if I'm feeling the love, or I can take a break for a little while, or I can just be single for a little while, or I can just hang out with friends for a little while. There's no nothing, nothing in the books that says we all have to be out there trying to find this person 24 seven. It's not, there's no rule or regulation. Some people are perfectly happy going about life without that, in, without that in their life. Okay, the two of pentacles though is balance, change, also priorities. So you have a lot of different cards talking about priorities and I think that's very important here. Whoever this person coming in is, and even if it's past coming in, or even if the past is still trying to knock at your door while you're trying to get over all of this, the one thing that you wanna focus on the most Aries is the fact that this person is not going to break your balance, okay? This person is not going to get in the way of your priorities. As long as you can keep your priorities in check and where they should be and where you want them to be, then it's gonna flow very smoothly. The moment that you start feeling yourself getting off balance or shifting a little bit is the moment you reset and you take a break and you say, hey, you know what? Maybe dating isn't a good idea right now or maybe I'm still not over this past situation and I need to take some more me time. The most important part this month, Aries, is to keep yourself balanced and feeling good. You also have temperance here, which one of the common themes of temperance as well is the balance factor. So Aries, before there was this chaos, okay? going on and you're coming out of the chaos. So anytime you feel yourself start to come unbalanced or it's not feeling good or you're feeling off kilter, stop. Think about what you're doing, regroup, and take some time for you. Okay, you have the King of Cups here, which is somebody, I think this is the new person coming in who um, wants to listen, who wants to um, hear your stories and Interestingly enough, sometimes coming off of something that has been hard or toxic, um, we just need somebody to listen. And the King of Cups says there's somebody out there, whoops, there's somebody out there who wants to listen. There's somebody out there who has been through pain and similar situations like you. This may be a friend you make, or this may be somebody that you eventually partner up with. But the King of Cups is somebody who's very calm, very cool, collected, and says, hey, I can, you know, I can hang with um, whatever you throw at me. Very interesting. It is very interesting because they're telling me this person is like somebody that you can push. And I'm not suggesting like 
you know, pushing somebody away or anything like this, but this is somebody who's coming in, whether it's a friend or a lover or a partner, this is somebody who is saying, I can take it. Whatever you've got, whatever your little fiery butt can dish out, I can take, Aries. This is a person who is not going anywhere. They're here to listen. They're very calm. It's very interesting. I feel like they're kind of their they're kind of your they're kind of your yin and yang, if you if you will. Okay. You have the eight of wands, which is fast movement, very fast movement. Somebody coming in very swiftly. So I feel like this person will come in probably around summertime. Um you know, maybe a little sooner. So again, it may feel slow moving, but, but there is somebody who wants to be in your life. Again, could start off as a friend, um, but this person is very interested in being a part of your life, is very drawn to you. Um, they're going to take time and care in getting to know you. They're not gonna push anything, but they are gonna come in swiftly. Now, you have the King of Wands clarifying your distant future. The King of Wands is somebody who is also very magnetic, somebody who, um, you will feel a, a draw to, that you will feel a connection with. The King of Wands is also very um, like maternal, paternal type energy, similar to the Queen of Wands. The King of Wands is also very moral. And, and again, people respect this person. So I feel like you have somebody coming in who will treat you differently than what you're used to. And it may be weird. It may put you on edge because if you're used to the drama or used to the fighting or you're used to somebody who's not very nice or somebody who's kind of shady, it may throw you off balance. And like I said, be careful with the balance. You have temperance here, which is Sagittarius' card. So you could be dealing with a Sag. But again, balance. This is moderation and patience. So this is be very, very, very patient with the situation. I This person is almost coming in as though you're going to be like, but we're really getting along and there's a strong connection here. And you're going to be like, so let's move forward. And they're going to be like, wait, you've had some hard times. I want to make sure that we get this right. I want to make sure I don't throw you off balance. I want to make sure you can live your life happily and I can come in undisturbed. So this person is very deep, going to be a very deep connection, but you may not, you may be like, I'm having, I'm being really patient because I really want to kiss right now. You know, something like that. All right. And then you have the devil here, okay? And I'm going to pull an oracle card. The devil is telling me don't go back, okay? And it's very interesting because, like I said, one of your reads last month said something about dancing with the devil. This person is not letting you go yet. Cross watchers, this can be reversed. Um, I'm not trying to give cross watchers a hard time, but I get that a lot. This is Aries read, so I'm going to read it for them, but it can be reversed. So just please be courteous in the comments because I get a lot of cross watchers who complain about that sign and this is not your read, um, but it can be reversed. Okay, so the devil here is telling me, this person has not let you go, Aries, okay? This person has not let you go. Do not let that be the theme of this read though. Do not let it be about going back to the chaos. Do not let it be about going back to the drama. The devil is not done with you as far as contacting you or trying to get you know, back in your good graces or whatnot. So this is very interesting that the devil's showing up. Now, that also represents Capricorn. So you could be meeting the Capricorn or just be dealing with the Capricorn or have Capricorn in your sign, but in your house. But the devil, um, again, for me, is kind of a, this person, this past person isn't going anywhere, but I think you're going to get a lot more. Um, you're going to feel a lot better with this new person. And unfortunately, I think it's going to... Um, make this past person it's almost like their their senses are heightened and they're like wait 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 my aries some my aries is meeting somebody even if it's just a good friend at first or whatever this person coming towards you is um this this past person does not like it and they're still going to do what they can to get in your good graces i just don't know um that you're willing to go there and i find it very interesting that one of the last reads i did was something about dancing with the devil and cutting the toxicity out they're not going anywhere and here's your happy place okay this card is your oracle card for closure and it's the happy place and it's literally things are happening the way they're supposed to happen so just keep that in mind even if you're tempted even if you're tempted even if you're hurt even if you're thinking about the what ifs or the did i make the right decision whatever it is for you aries go to your happy place if this past comes back and you love them so much that you that that you think that's the best decision for you then by all means go for it take the take the jump but i think there's somebody new that you're going to put a big leap of faith in um 
they're coming in pretty quick, but give it time. Be patient. All right, Aries, I will see you in a little bit. Bye.